September 16th was the beginning of the end. Hovering at the door of your single person ICU room, staring at your two still body with the hum of dimming lights above me. It wasn't the usual hum I associated with you. Six strings and a hum, I pick in every single pocket you wore and electrical wires at your feet. The intruding tubes that now engulfed you were a sick conversion. You got this. Your long fingernails that usually plucked at a G-string with such gentleness were turning yellow. I could just make out your perishing kidneys seeing the stairway to heaven. It suited the moment. You pass on September 18th with your family watching over you as you watch over us now. I didn't shed enough tears when you passed. I still can't shed many and for that I feel horrible because you are my greatest father figure. It's been a year since you passed, and I don't know why I'm barely writing about you. Maybe it's because Mom brought you up again, saying she needed pictures to send you and Grandma announcements. She paused, pulling the imaginary foot out of her mouth, and gave a humorous laugh, saying, oh, yeah. Mom, I'm sorry you still catch yourself in the action of calling him. I'm sorry Grandma's harebrained antics are really starting to get to you, because holy crap, even in a wheelchair, that woman is too damn mobile for her own good. <laughs> Mom, I'm sorry you lost your daddy. And as I write this last line, I realize maybe I didn't write this for me. Maybe I wrote it for you. So let you know that while I will never understand the full effect his loss, his loss had on you, I am here. I love you, your Pooh Bear. <laughs>